There is an enduring scientific debate when it comes to sexual orientation and gender identity. Is a person born with sexual attractions toward the same gender, or are those attractions cultivated by upbringing, culture, or lifestyle choice? Or more simply put, can a person choose to be gay, or are they born that way? Similarly, is a person born with an internal gender that is sometimes out of alignment with the gender their body was assigned at birth? Or more simply put, can a person choose to live as a specific gender, or are they born that way? Scientists have been unable to find a specific section of DNA related to gender identity or sexual orientation, but there are scientific facts that back up being LGBT as something genetic. Psychology and sociology are certainly sciences, but we'll talk about those at a different time. Today we're focused specifically on biological components related to gender identity and sexual orientation. Here are some basic facts that show biological evidence. There are dozens of animal species outside of humans that show same-sex attraction, orientation, and sexual activity. In some animal species, same-gender couplings will mate for life. Gender is much more fluid than just boy or girl, and attraction is much more fluid than just same or opposite gender. In many cases, gender can be ambiguous, assigned at birth, or simply more fluid throughout development than is anticipated. LGBT people have existed throughout history, in every culture and civilization, from ancient Egypt to ancient Rome to modern Islam and modern America. There is a lot of scientific research being done on the effect of hormones and environment on the developing fetus and how these influence LGBT individuals. These statistics are sound. LGBT people exist in every country, region, religion, and culture, and, depending on the report you read, between 5 and 15 percent of the overall population are gay, lesbian, or bisexual, and between 0.3 and 1 percent of the overall population is transgender. It isn't simply a lifestyle choice. In regards to scientific breakthroughs, a lot of research has been done on the effect of hormones on the developing fetus that back up these facts as well. Those who argue against the born-this-way theories tend to rely on religious or biblical beliefs that state that God would not create gay people or transgender people. Many of these arguments are used against the theories of evolution as well, despite the fact that scientific evidence across the board supports evolution theory. And for those that argue that a DNA component should be found to prove same-sex orientation, I remind you that no DNA component has been found to support opposite sex orientation either. Supplementally, the fields of science are predominantly populated by straight men across history, whether they be chemists, medical specialists, researchers, or astronauts. Yet LGBT people and women have held positions in these industries across the years and have made incredible breakthroughs. This week on LGBT Snapshots, we will be telling stories of science, and scientists. If you're enjoying these videos, please help get the word out. Subscribe to the feed here on YouTube, like the videos, share them with your friends. We're working hard on these stories and we definitely want to share them with more people. We'll see you tomorrow for the first day of Science Week.